everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Susie from Sea Salt and Stitches and today I'm going to be sharing my November sewing plans. Um, I'm sure you've all been waiting for my October makes but just the way that I started my channel um, it just makes more sense to do my November makes uh, plans today and then next week hopefully I'll share my um, October finished garments with you all. I really hope so. I've made everything apart from one thing but I have made something extra that I hadn't mentioned in my um, plans. So anyway I'll tell you all about that next week. Today I'm just going to talk about what I'm going to be making in November and I'm going to start, this is my little pile here of fabrics that I'm going to be using. I'm going to start with sort of plain and um, sensible type fabrics and then get down to more colourful and exciting ones um, towards the end. So as I say, plain and sensible. This is a black jersey, quite a lot of stretch in it actually, it's got quite a lot of drape. Um, I got this from Croft Mill. Hi, uh, my card was full and cut off my filming so I'm not 100% sure the last thing I said but anyway, I'm going to be making a black long sleeve t-shirt with this. Not very exciting to um, share my plan of that, but um, it's probably going to be a plantain because you know, guys, I love that um, pattern. It's just perfect for me and um, it's just going to be a nice layering piece for winter. So simple, simple, nothing very exciting there. The um, next fabric is bit more exciting. It is a Ponte Roma or Ponte di Roma um, in this lovely black with the white stripe and I'm going to make a Molly dress from the Sew so, so Over It City Capsule wardrobe. Slowly working my way through the whole um, ebook at the moment. Um, so yeah so I'm gonna make that and again I think that's gonna be great with tights and boots and um, maybe drapey cardigans over the top of that. It'll just be perfect for the rest of autumn and um, when winter hits us, which no doubt will be soon enough. Um, I can't quite remember where I got this fabric from, but um, I will link it in my description box below, along with everything else that I talk about today, okay? So that's that one. And now we get on to this gorgeous um, fabric, which you would have seen in my last video from my Miss Matatabi um, haul. So I have this gorgeous double gauze and I think what I'm going to make with this is uh, something I haven't made before. So I'm a bit nervous um, about it because I really hope I'm not over planning with all of this. There's quite a lot of things here and I'm not really the fastest sewer in the world. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my phone because I'm going to get the name of the, fab the pattern and I can't pronounce it properly so please excuse me but it's the Cheyenne, Cheyenne tunic from uh, Hey June. Um, I'm going to do, as I say, the tunic version so I think Americans call it a popover um, yeah, you know the button placket just goes down to there and then stops um, and I don't know whether I'll do the pockets or not we'll see how it goes um, and again and I, I, I won't do the collar either so it'll just be a I think mandarin collar I think you call it with the mini button placket and hopefully I have enough fabric for it um, just something a bit different because I, I knew I wanted to do a sort of tunic style um, top with this um, and I've made the Tova before and um, you know I want to branch out and try something new so that is the plan for that hopefully as I say I hope I can get it done and now we move on to ah beautiful red okay and with these lovely red fabrics um, I'm going to be using them for um, my version of the little red dress project that's going around Instagram and YouTube at the moment um, started or initiated by the lovely Renata of Running in Style and um, basically she just um, 
asked everyone to join in and make a red dress uh, basically for the holiday period. Yay! So who doesn't love a red dress? Unless you hate the colour red, in which case you would hate a red dress. But anyway, I'm being a little bit naughty and um, I'm not making a dress. Eee! Sorry Renata, slightly going off piste, I know, but I'm very much going down the red route. Um, but I'm going to make separates because it just suits my lifestyle more um, at the moment and also I just don't wear dresses anymore really. Um, so I just thought that this would be a better use of my fabric because I will get more use out of them. So what I'm going to do is a, um, a, bait, a top and a skirt. So. This gorgeous fabric from my Miss Matatabi haul that you would have seen before. It's the Rifle Paper Company um, rayon in the enamel colourway. And um, I'm going to more than likely make an Ogden cami out of this. I know, sorry guys, I'm boring you. I'm making plantains, molly tops and Ogden camis. I just, I, I really like these patterns so, you know. Hopefully you won't get too bored of my channel. I promise I'm going to make other things. <laughs> so anyway, so hopefully the Ogden cami with that. And then I've had this absolutely stunning red silk dupion in my stash for about five years. And I've been too terrified to use it, basically. Um, and I had always planned on making a dress with it. But it's just, I've never found the perfect pattern. Because it's Dupion, it's very crisp. So, you know, you have to find a pattern that's suited for that. And I didn't want to end up looking like a bridesmaid either. Um, or that I was going to like a formal or a prom or something like that. So, um, it, that is why it's just languished in my stash. And I've been too terrified to um, make anything with it. So, um... It's too beautiful to be sitting in a stash, isn't it? So I thought, let's flip and sew this thing up. And then I saw this together with it. And I just thought, I hope you can see that. I'll maybe do a close up so you can see how beautiful this red is. They're an absolute perfect match. They are just stunning together. So I'm really, really, really excited about this. So I'm gonna be making like a pleated skirt with this and I've got um, this pattern here, which I have made many years ago before, it's McCall's 5591. Um, and I'm going to be doing a mashup, I think, of view A and view C. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm just not sure whether I want the pockets that are in view A. I might just want inseam pockets instead. Um, but I like the pleading on view A more than view B or C. So uh, we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see. Anyway, so I think that'll be really, 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 really gorgeous. And I'm very excited to make that up. Okay, and two bonus makes if I'm super productive and get all of that done, which I probably won't. I have a couple of extra little bits that I want to sew up. And again, a bit boring, but it's just going to be this white jersey. I'm going to do a short sleeve white t-shirt, just a classic piece. Um, but it's something I need in my wardrobe. And then I have this lovely, soft, uh, marley grey jersey and again I think this will be a long sleeved um, t-shirt probably plantain but maybe something a higher neckline we'll see again it's just something um, that I need in my wardrobe and I quite fancy making it rather than buying it um, but it just depends on my productivity level um, in November whether I get those done or not or they might get bumped down the list Right, so that's all of my uh, sewing plans for November. I've got quite a lot to get on with. Um, I'm also uh, sort of on holiday next week 
in that my husband's on half term, he's a teacher, so um, I probably won't have very much time for sewing, so that eats into my uh, November sewing time, which will mean, you know, less time to get everything done. Um, but, you know, it's my own deadline, it's not for anyone else, so <laughs> I'm gonna cut myself some slack here. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying this um, vlog, please subscribe. I'm just loving all the subscriptions and all your lovely comments. Please comment below as well or give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. And um, hopefully um, I'll be back again next week with a video of what I made in October. Until then, bye! This is my bird. <laughs> <laughs>